It's always a good day when I get to fly my air tractor, so I'm planning on having a good day. Today we're going to fly this on a 3S and then a 4S battery and just have some fun. If you're unfamiliar with our channel and what we do, we just like to put things in the air and drive RCs and have a good time as a family. You included, the viewer, are a part of our RC family and I'm very excited to just uh, do what we do. So let's go fly. What a pretty plane. Bright yellow, blue skies with a little bit of clouds. We've got half flaps on. I'm going to taxi it down, turn it around, and uh, take off very quickly. All right, you ready? Yep. She's up. When you put flaps on this, it just it flies. It gets in the air. And that was half flaps. Oh, we've got a squeaky lens today, don't we? <laughs> oh. It was fine a second ago. Okay. Now it's squeaky again. Ah, oh. It's okay, it's okay. We've halfway fixed it. That's all right, we can still fly. We'll just enjoy the air tractor with a random squeak. <laughs> well, is this your first time watching a video on the air tractor? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Uh, if not, I am guessing you've probably seen us fly it on our channel before. Now this is the first time I've flown it on a paved runway and I'll be honest with you, because of our slightly bent landing gear, I was expecting it to veer off course while taxiing. That is not the case. It, it taxied really well. I think I'm I think I'm okay to hold off on ordering new landing gear. It's sitting a little bow-legged, uh, but that's okay. You and, had a hard landing, right? Uh, yeah, it was my own stupid fault because I was trying to set a, a slow speed record. Okay. You know what I've learned with this air tractor is I like to give a little bit of rudder input when I'm banking. So if you just bank this, look at it. The nose goes up and it's kind of an ugly little turn. But if you, let's do rudder input with it, the nose you see is not quite as high. It looks so much better and it just feels better coming out of the turn. Let's come in nice and low, touch, bounce, skim the ground. Oh, I'm going to have to get really good at doing touch and goes with this on a hard surface instead of grass. I'm so used to flying in grass. This is my first time flying with a paved surface below me. I love the lights on this plane too. I can see them even in this bright sun. Oh yeah, it looks really good. But what's the, the best part about this, and I know Abby, you'll say the same thing, is that bright, bright yellow on that blue sky. Yep. Nothing compares to a bright yellow plane against a blue sky. It's just as good as it, it's good as it looks. I absolutely love that. Well, I know I'm just putzing around and, and I intended to fly this way. When I fly this air tractor, I like to leave it in safe when I have a 3S battery in, and this whole time I've been in safe. And, oh, that's almost had a wingtip saw. We'll put full flaps on. Yes, we have a full scaler fired up. I doubt he's taken off, but if he does, we'll record it. Uh, and I want to get a very slow and low flyby for you guys. Let's see. So, full flaps. Oh, I did touch the ground. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> he might take Maybe. off. I'm going to land. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to land and we're going to watch a full scaler take off and then we'll put this back in the air. Uh, so yeah, you guys are going to get some bonus landings today. Here we go. Full flaps, paved runway. You think I can do it? I think oh, I got yeah. it. Listen to that. This is going to be a treat. Bounce, bounce, bounce. That wasn't too bad. We'll taxi right off here. And uh, this is good because now I can go fix my lens again. Perfect. <laughs> good job. Thanks. Well, that was a short flight, but what a treat to see a full scaler take off. It Sorry, really... I missed the actual it's okay. lift off part. We, we saw an old friend and we're getting caught up. That's a full flap takeoff with just tons of lift. Safe is on. We're going to take the flaps off and cruise around. Um, what I'll do, what I plan on doing is really letting this thing uh, just go nuts and go loose with it uh, when we put the 4S battery in because it's amazing how pretty in scale this plane flies on a 3S and I like to do that when I fly this. I think that's what I was talking about right about when we heard the full scaler fire up. It flies so beautifully scale and slow <clears throat> on a 3S battery, excuse me. 
It's a dry day. It out. is a dry day. <laughs> and then you put a 4S battery in here and it's not the same plane. Very few times do we have an airplane that flies so differently when you jump from a 3S to 4S. I actually have quite a few planes that you sometimes can't even tell a difference if you're flying on 3 or 4S. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll probably fly this for, well actually that wasn't too short of a flight. I thought I was only in no. the air for about a minute. But no, we I think it was like 3 or 4. Yeah. So we'll fly for maybe another minute here. We could get a very long flight time on this battery. Uh, speaking of, these are our favorite batteries in the world. These are smart Sorry batteries. You're only gonna spend a couple more bucks to pick up a smart battery and the, the benefits are just way above and beyond a standard lipo the biggest thing is the self storage mode and i just can't get over how amazing self storage mode for these batteries are you know i charged a total of four oh. batteries that was a little bit of wind pushed me down i charged a total of four batteries for our flights today and let's say i only fly two with you guys i'm probably going to use the other two but if i don't because Amelia gets a little cranky or it's dinner time or something, then I'm going to go home with two fully charged batteries, right? That is the worst thing you can do for the overall health of your batteries. If you leave them fully charged for more than a few days or so. And these smart batteries do a self storage charge with some of the accessories sold by uh, spectrum. You can either their charger, or a cool little tool they have, I'll link it in the description box, pretty affordable. You can adjust whether you want them to go into self storage mode after I think the minimum is maybe 12 hours, I think. And the maximum is like, like 200 hours. I mean, it's a lot. And I set mine around 50 hours. If I don't use my batteries in about two days, I want them to go into self storage mode. So it's, uh, it's just really, really amazing technology. I've lived through lipos that are normal and dumb lipos and here we have these crazy smart technology batteries and it's already saved me a ton of money just in the last year or so how, uh, you might not know this how on. long does it take for it to go completely in storage that's a good Once question starts, that's a really know? good question yeah it, it's slow it dissipates that uh, through heat very slowly so slow that you cannot oh that is a horrible landing you can't feel the heat so it might take almost maybe 12 hours or so depending on oh, how that's big faster the than I thought well this is a 2200 milliamp battery if you're okay. looking at 2s 5000 milliamp you might be looking at a whole day or so or maybe even a couple days I was thinking it would take like a week <laughs> I don't think it's that long okay no. uh, but it could take a day or two to get it into storage mode what we're gonna do now Let's put a 4S battery in and really have some fun on this plane. Okay, the plane has woken up. Yeah, you ready? Yes. That's it so is crazy. Nuts. This turns into a race plane. I'll do a full throttle pass. I'm just kind of gliding out here. But I'll do a full throttle pass over here, then we'll turn safe off and just really have some fun. Safe is off. So air tractors aren't supposed to do that, <laughs> in case anybody didn't know. Now it can do loops and rolls when you're flying on a 3S battery, but I like to do that stuff when we're on our 4S pack. Again, this is a safe battery. I just, these newer planes that I'm picking up, I wouldn't fly any other batteries on them. They're just really awesome. That was cool. That was really cool. <laughs> Every time we fly this beautiful plane, we always pick up an audience and that's what we've got today. It's just a cool day to be out here flying a plane. Let's do a nice big wide loop. Now, you know something that I talk about all the time are batteries and accessories, but one thing that I tend not to talk about, but it's something that I have every single time I fly anything in my arsenal is AMA. I do not fly without AMA insurance. My membership for AMA started when I was just a kiddo flying my very first airplane. It doesn't matter if I'm flying at my AMA sanctioned airfield or a, a privately owned airfield or just a grass field. Or baseball and when field. he says AMA, he's talking about the Academy of Model Aeronautics. That's exactly right, yeah. It's just, uh, I, I don't talk about that enough and it's something that I should because I've always got my membership 
on me. I tend to sign up for the two year uh, membership at a time because you can save a little bit of money when you do that. You save even more money if you do lifetime. You can even sign up your spouse, like Abby, uh, gets a major discount because I'm an AMA member and so she's got AMA too. Uh, it's required to fly at a lot of events that you go to. And AMA sanctioned clubs. That's right, yes, we have another um, full scaler yeah. either taxiing or taking off. Harry. So Harry. I don't know if he's taking off or not, so I am going to full flaps on and just assume that he is because I heard it fire up. We always promote safe flying, but we want to start talking a little bit more about AMA because we got a lot of new pilots here on our channel. And that's something that we definitely want to encourage new pilots to sign up for. So down in the description box, we'll have a link where you can find more information about the Academy of Model Aeronautics and the services they provide. There's our guy radioing in and we're ready for takeoff too. Here we go. We're gonna keep it nice and low. Harry's doing a wide path around the airport. So we'll keep it nice and low. He's gonna be more than five miles out though. Okay, let's do one more high speed pass. That was a nice treat to see two airplanes take off today. Oh yeah. Flying our scale crop duster. I love it. Full throttle, a little bit of down elevator. It wants to go up when you full throttle. And we'll fly by. Look at that. Harry was back there in the background. Oh, sorry. He's way far sorry, away. Sorry, right in the sun. Oh, yeah. Ciao. We'll do a better pass side to side here. This thing is quick. Safe off. Go up. And we'll do a little bit of craziness. You ha, love flying awesome. things <laughs> with stunts that should not be flown <laughs> like it's that. It's just cool. <laughs> that was an amazing little movie. All these scale pilot guys are just like cringing well, like. I fly a little bit of scale on that 3S battery. That's why it's worth waiting <laughs> a little longer to see us fly like this. Look at that. I love doing that with this plane. Just craziness. I like a low snap roll too. We'll see if we can get one a little bit lower over here. There we go. That was cool. Just got to give yourself enough room to pull out of that. This is just a fun plane. It's neat on 3S, but it's fun on 4S. Because you, you don't think of a plane flying uh, like that that looks like this. And it's got those really good lights, so late dusk, you can fly it no problem. Abby, you've flown this. You like it. Yeah, it's awesome. It's just a good airplane. Look, way out in the distance, I saw Harry on that pass. Harry is a pilot here. We've flown with him... Look, climbs forever. Twice? Or three times? Can we flat spin it? Not very well. No, I did the wrong thing. Yeah, we've flown with Harry a couple times at least. Maybe three times, like you said. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Loop. And we'll keep it inverted for a minute. I'm getting a little bit better at flying inverted, but my confidence just still isn't quite there. You're doing good. Thank you. A little lower than I usually would be. We'll do an inverted loop. Got Very nice. Cuban 8 here. Roll it over. And roll it over. Yeah, getting a little bit cleaner. This is just fun to fly. I don't know if that was an eight, Nathan. I think that was more of like an infinity, infinity symbol. I think that's called a Cuban eight, though. Really? I think a Cuban eight is, is an, an infinity, infinity symbol. symbol. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I thought it good. was supposed to be more like an S. Tell us if we're tell us if we're wrong, guys. I don't know. Maybe I just did the thing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Going up. Three, two, one. Ciao. Learning every day. And uh, I could fly to the moon and back if I wanted to, but we won't. And you know what? We're getting way past our five minute mark on this battery. So what I'm going to do is kick safe on, kick flaps on and bring it right in for a landing. Putting the nose into the wind. We felt like a three or four mile an hour breeze today. It's just a beautiful day to fly and we're going to keep doing that. Now I told you guys about those safe batteries um, and you know, they'll self storage. 
but today I'm going to make sure they get into a storage charge. Oh my gosh! You gotta oh. work on that. that oh my gosh! Ugly. I think you need to ugly. try again. Can that we was, do that one more time? I would do a take two on that. What are you doing? Just doing some donuts. I thought you liked donuts. I do love some donuts, but <laughs> I've never seen you do donuts with a plane. Well, you can on the pavement, and that's what's I really fun. I just saw Let's that. Get this a little bit closer. I have now found my new favorite thing with planes: okay. ground donuts. All right. Can All we right. make that any smoother? Oh, I hope so. Flare. Yeah, that, that was, was better. better. That was better. That was better. We all are learning as we go. Oh, I came in just too fast. I was too far away to see the speed and it bounced. It skipped like a stone across the water. Wow. Okay. Love this airplane. Well, what an awesome plane. And the good news is before we did this video, we did check to see if it was in stock and it, and it is. So I, depending on when you're watching this video, it may be sold out again, but this puppy sells out a lot and it's out of stock a lot. So the fact that we see that nice big green in stock is very encouraging. I highly, highly recommend you guys pick one of these up. If, if this is your thing, if you look at this and you get excited, then it's your thing. It flies really well, it flies as slow as an airplane can fly. And it is just, quick on 4S and it'll snap roll and do some crazy stuff that it really shouldn't be able to do. Why do I always struggle to remember this guy's name? It's Norman. Norman? This is Norman. Oh, no Our pilot is Norman. Why can't I remember him? Norman name? is grateful for AMA as we were saying in the air. Got a little bit interrupted with the full scale plane taking off. Always want to give way to those guys but I would not ever consider even plugging a battery into an airplane without AMA insurance. I've got a couple stories about how AMA has come in very handy at our club's airfield. And the next time we fly there, I'll let you guys know a story about a, a club member there that came in really handy. One of my favorite perks too is the magazine that you get every month. I'm always very excited every time we see the magazine hit the mailbox. It always gives me something to look through unexpectedly and if you want to sign up for AMA and I highly, highly recommend that you do and you want to read more about the benefits yourself, we'll have them linked in the description box below. But check this beautiful plane out guys. I'm so happy we got to get out here and fly. We got to witness a couple full scale planes take off and that is just a treat. Bear in mind, we are flying here with 100% full permission and no matter where you fly, you should always have permission to do that as well. And again, fly safely. I'm so thankful for today. And for that, I thank God, I thank the big guy upstairs and all of our Patreon supporters. You guys are amazing. Every single one of you, you know who you are. A couple shout outs to a couple guys with the names scrolling by right now. We've got Jan and Stan. You guys are some of our long-term Patreon supporters. Look I just at these to headlights. Give you a special <laughs> shout out. They are amazing. They're so bright. The wingtip lights look good too. It's a, it's a beautiful plane. Well, I hate to even end this video, but unfortunately those credits have gone by and I think we've got another video popping up right about now. So if you just haven't had enough of some fun flying RC planes, then click that video that just popped up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.